Okay, let's solve some quadratics by square roots. The last couple of videos was with graphing, and now we're using the square roots. All right, um, if we have x squared equals d, we're going to get these all into that form, x squared equals d, where x squared is the only thing left on one side. Um, if it happens to be a positive number, it's going to have two real solutions, a positive and negative of the square root of d. If it happens to equal zero, there will be one real solution, it will be zero. And if it happens to be negative, less than zero, there will be no real solutions. So let's look at this one. Um, we're going to add 27 to both sides of the equation to get the square root because I want it in this form. So I have 3x squared equals 27. I will then divide by 3, and I have x squared equals 9. Okay, so that is positive, so there should be two real solutions. I'll take the square root because it will it's the opposite of square, and I'm going to let be left with x equals uh, positive or negative, square root of 9 is 3. So two solutions, positive 3 and negative 3. If I wanted to graph that, square it would cross the x-axis. On this one, I will add 10 to both sides. And I have x squared equals 0. We said if the d is 0, if this is 0 right here, there's one solution is 0. So in other words, if you take the square root of both sides, you're just going to get a 0, one solution. So this has two solutions, and this has one solution. Now let's look at this one. Let's sub subtract 11 from both sides. We have negative 5x squared equals 16 minus 11, which is 5. We'll divide by negative 5. So x squared equals a negative 1. x squared equals negative 1. Well, here it's less than zero, so there's no real solution. See, if you try to take the square root of both sides, you get a one under the radical, negative one under the radical, and that's not allowed. So there is no solutions, no real solutions. Let me say that as no real solutions. There is um, a um, complex solution.